hi there and welcome to my channel once again and this video a little bit different again this time something from the past for me um, I've been digging around and uh, searching on the internet and I actually found something that I had as a child and I couldn't resist buying it and then of course I couldn't resist actually sharing it with you guys and what I've bought is wait for it Philips electronic engineer kit EE8 there we go that's the full box so by my reckoning that this came out I think well I'm pretty sure I had this for Christmas in 1966 I'd have been about 11 years old then and this was exactly what I wanted I'd kind of been into electronics for some time as a child just wiring up bulbs and batteries and switches and things but this this is this was going to be a totally different ball game Philips came out with a series of um, kits electronic engineer kits this was probably I think the start of it with the EE8 although there may have been one before this not sure but I know I got this oh I got this I think I think I got this for my birthday in December and I got the add-on kit the EE20 for Christmas I think that's how it worked this would have been more expensive uh, and I can remember being told by my parents that actually my Christmas present wasn't going to be uh, as expensive as usual but it was going to be as exciting and it was because it was the add-on for this kit so I had both kits EE8 means eight experiments so what's inside well it's actually not a complete kit and I was warned of this before I, I bought it um, that it wasn't actually complete so but let's have a look to see what is inside so inside the box we do have a full instruction book and I remember this from the past it's exactly as I remember it and uh, giving you details about the experiments to do and um, how to set things up what the components are used for and this was going to give me a good grounding because actually what happened um, a, a fair few years after receiving this kit and uh, performing all the experiments I actually ended up being a television engineer so there was something in this kit that, that um, pushed me into a career in the end so what's what I'm going to show you next is what what's been made up um, by whoever had it last I guess here we have some components on a board you'll see that it's like a, a pegboard with two switches down here one one is uh, a volume control and one is a variable resistor or what you would call a tuner on a radio so these components here have been laid out as per these cards here let me show you another card so as I said there's eight experiments to do and what you do is you place a card on the board push the pins through and then wire up the various components across the pins and it tells you exactly what's what there so that's a transistor there I can see I know that's um, a light dependent resistor there uh, I'm not sure what this card makes but um, that's how it works and obviously you wire it up to some batteries it's not wired up to the mains it's completely safe oh actually uh, it looks like there's a key there like a, um, something you press down there I'm not sure anyway 
So that's what the keys, the cards are like. Let's go back to, let's go back to the, what I was showing you on this board. So that's that's almost the finish finished article. That's basically what you end up with. Um, and you would switch it on. The switch is actually missing here. It's one of the components that's missing. And your batteries would fit in under these rubber bands. You can see how old this this is. These rubber bands have completely perished. Um, so you have some a headphone there, a single mono, uh, mono uh, earplug, if you like, to listen to music that you might find on your radio once once you start to tune in. Now. On this, you'll notice, or if you, if you look hard enough, you'll see that there's a component missing here. One of the transistors is actually missing, and somewhere I've spied, um, there's a resistor missing as well. Can't see it now. But there's one other component missing, and this transistor. Both of these I've ordered. So what I'm intending to do is I'm in, going to intend to get this working again as a radio. I've looked up and found out that medium wave still exists. There's still some medium wave stations. So maybe I can pick something up on this kit. Who knows? It's an interesting, it's an interesting um, kind of setup really from way, way back in the 60s at the time. You could say this was leading edge. Things like transistors, there's one there. That's the other transistor that is there. Transistors were a component that completely transformed the way our electronic equipment worked. It became possible for people to walk around with things like transistor radios for a start. Prior to the transistor, we had thermionic valves in our kits uh, and that meant that they were weren't really portable at that time but this meant radios in cars transistor radios on the move it revolutionized a lot of things this this little thing here the transistor so as i say at the at the time leading edge and um all the components I hope will be working. Let's hope that. Um, and I'm gonna do a part two where I come back and um, maybe we can listen to some music together on this. <laughs> Who knows if I can get it going. Anyway, so that's a part one. And we will come back to this at some point. So that's it for me for now, but uh, please subscribe and please like and uh, then you'll be informed of the part two when it comes along. Okay, that's it from me now. Bye for now. Bye.